Welcome back everyone to another NRG and here we are with a pretty decent game on the Amstrad Exelon released in 1987 by Houston Consultants and written by Raphael Secco this is very... if anybody's played Cybernoid you would have played one of Raphael's games and um, part of the what Houston used to call the uh, Kecko collection or the Secco collection I do apologize if I'm pronouncing that wrong oh, it's going to be Seco. I'm going to call it Seco. Anyway, this is a run and gun spacey type shoot 'em up in the vein of um, Turrican, in a sense. Um, yes, I'd, I'd, I'd say it was quite akin to Turrican in that manner. Just going to set our keys here. And it's very colourful, very bold, very brash, lots of big explosion sound effects and particle effects going on. I love games that do that. Cybernoid was particularly good at this, Cybernoid 1 and 2, and of course, uh, later on, Stormlord. Uh, so part of the, uh, the Seco collection, as it were, and you see lots, of, lots of stuff flying everywhere. Oh, I love all that stuff. Big, lovely colours here. Excellently drawn graphics. Nice animation on the main future c character as well, with uh, some nice spacey sci-fi backgrounds. Lots of lovely little effects and animation going on in the foreground. It's a very interactive game. It's a very, very. It's, a, it's one of those games that draws you in. Because it's got a lot going for it. It's got a lot going for it at all. It occasionally does slow down, but we'll get to that in a minute. Uh, focusing on its good points, which there are numerous. It starts with a, a jolly tune, which kind of not really fitting to the to the game and the theme, but hey ho, it's a jolly tune. No, unfortunately, no it's, it's, uh, music during the game itself, but lots of lots of sound effects, lots of decent sound effects as well. Explosions, fire. All this kind of stuff, funny little buzzy noises and blippy spacey stuff going on. Ah, oh, hands up! Damn, the balloon man hit me with these evil balloon bubble thingy, jobby, whatever they are. I don't know. Lovely pink ground there as well. This would be this would be an interesting one to see what happens on it. And look at that! Look at the size of that explosion. That's really impressive for the Amstrad. Get an animation going on at the top there with the ship hovering over. So you've got different uh, enemies to defeat. Uh, so it's a flick screen animation. Flick screen scrolling should we say. And lots of little buggy things come out of that sort of uh, fetus is sort of destroyed there. Embryo or one. Weird stuff but it's all very spacey isn't it. We love all that stuff. Like I say, it's, um, yeah, I mean, Stormlord is uh, very reminiscent of the way it uh, sort of plays and looks. Stormlord may be quicker in the way it does uh, actually play. And responses are really good as well. Um, I, love it. I do like the control system. It's a really nice control system. So hold fire to launch your missile. This is a nasty bit. Oh, this tank thing's horrible. But if you get to him, it gives you a nice bonus. Damn it. He's killing me. He's killing me lots. Let's let's try and jump. No, let's think this is not going to work, is it? Okay, let's go, 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 and got the bonus points. You can get into teleporters, uh, the teleportation doors. Just press uh, jump, uh, fire for that, and uh, bang, you teleport. And you can use them strategically for homing missiles and things like that. And there's power-ups as well. It's, um, it's a very sort of... Uh, procedural power-up system so you can get yourself an extra skeleton extra helmet armor all this kind of stuff as you progress through the game you your standard sort of like shot laser gun kind of thing and you jump over there nice big jump lovely big jump again there look at all that animation going on really nice this guy is a homing sort of device so I'm gonna teleport out of his way oh another one's coming oh oh oh, oh. whoopsie there you go see yeah you gotta dodge these things Got to shoot a, uh, a grenade, a rocket at the thing, and boom, big explosion, and then boom, another one. Nice little uh, bit of physics on the grenade, the missile sort of rocket thing as well. It sort of drops down, so you've got to position yourself in the right position, uh, position yourself in the right place uh, for that to work correctly. And uh, so that's a nice little thing. You can also duck and position it in a different way there. There's a little capsule there, which is very reminiscent of the cybernoid sort of a uh, cockpit. So yeah, there's a, there's a particular style uh, to uh, Raphael's games that is very, very nice, lovely and colourful. This is my, must be my upgrade. There you go, got me upgrade. That's it, me upgrade suit. I got a double shot. Now I'm not to be messed with. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, look at this stuff. This is excellent. Whoopsie daisy. There we go. I'm not on me lava because it is. 
Like Cybernoid and Stormlord before, it is a tough game. It is a tricky, tough game to get through. So, uh, not surprising. <laughs> it's come from the same hand. But this is kind of like what I was saying back in the day. If you could code properly for the Amstrad, and this of course was released on the Spectrum and the Commodore, and later on the Amiga and the ST2. The ST as well, should I say. Um, this is a good example of if you really know what you're doing with the system, you know how its graphics work, you know how its systems properly can be maximised. This is it. This is this is the example you get. Yes, people might think it might be a bit ponderous, a little bit slow, but I, I tell you what, any faster and you'd be in big trouble. <laughs> I think playing the game and find it pretty impossible to do. Oh, what? What? Shit! No! Got shot. Got to jump that and get down there quick style. Launch a rocket, maybe? No, I can't. Oh yeah, you can't launch the rockets into the teleporters. You've got to be beyond that. So boom, do it there. Oh no, it's not going to work. So let's go on here and. No, no, no. Is this going to work? Bang! It did work there. I got to walk through that wall. It's not really there. Yeah, like I was saying. Sorry, I was sidetracked. Um, if you know what you're doing, you can get the visuals looking great. Sound effects really marrying up with the excellent visuals. A little bit slow down here. There's a lot of movement going on, uh, which is to be expected. There's a lot of things going on on the screen on this particular screen. Yeah, you've, got to, you've got to expect that. But all in all, it's a challenge. It's a lengthy game. It's got some. It's got good, good longevity to it. It's colourful. It's well done. It's well programmed. It's a pretty good game. In fact, it's more than a pretty good game. It's a pretty excellent game. It's Exelon. Exelon is excellent, as they would say. I'm going to put, well, as I would say anyway, as Novabug would, would stupidly say, I guess. But correctly, I believe. There's my name. There's the high score table. And I will bid you a fond farewell. That was Exelon on the Amstrad CPC. Novabug, out. Hey, Novabug here. I do hope you enjoyed this video. Please support the channel by liking and commenting, and of course subscribing if you haven't already done. If you would like to support me further, please consider joining my bug army via Patreon. And also don't forget to follow me over at Facebook, Twitter, BitChute and Twitch. Finally, a special mention to my bug army generals, Sam M and Sweet Nanook. Thank you everyone for supporting me. Novabug, out.